guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Britta, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram right here. In today's video, I want to show you how to create this K-pop inspired makeup look and it's kind of a reddish, pinkish makeup look that I've tried out using the new Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I have a couple of breakouts here and there, if you can see on my forehead and stuff, which is super annoying, but anyway, I've already prepped and primed my skin. Right now, I am using the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream and add a few drops of the Olivarie Fluid Oil just to give my skin the, the extra moisture that it needs because now that it's getting colder, my skin tends to be more dry, so I need all the hydration that I can get. Starting off with the first step, I am using the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I actually really like this concealer because you do get quite a bit of product for the price. The only downside of this though is the applicator. It has this doe foot applicator which I really don't like because I feel like it's just pushing in dirt back into the product when you apply it on the skin. So what I like to do, I just Wipe it across my hand and get the concealer on my hand. I just dab a few times under my eyes and where I have redness and any kind of breakouts that I want to cover up, which is a little bit quite a lot. So. And I like how this concealer is actually very high coverage. It's also great for your eyes because it doesn't really crease if you set it properly, so that's also something I really like about this concealer. Because my skin is not that great at the moment, I am going for a high coverage foundation and I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Cashmere. And again, using my Beauty Blender, I'm just blending it into my skin. I just find the Beauty Blender just gives the best finish and the best application. Perfect, we're done with the foundation, now comes powder. I'm going to set everything with powder and I'm going to use the e.l.f. setting powder for this. And I'm going to use another beauty blender that I always use for powder and apply it under my eye area. And I don't like to use too much powder for my under eye area because it is really dry. Moving on to brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this one is my go-to eyebrow product. Since it's a Korean inspired makeup tutorial, I'm going to try and keep my brows looking fairly straight because that's kind of their style. And also create maybe thicker brows because my brows are relatively thin in comparison to the Korean brows. I'm going to outline the brows first and what kind of shape I want and then I'm gonna fill in the rest. Okay, this is what I was going for. I tried to keep it fairly straight and I'm going to do the other brow off camera just to speed up the process a little bit. Let's get to the fun part of this makeup look which is the eyeshadow and I'm going to use the New Nude by Huda Beauty. And I'm super excited about this because this is the first time that I'm trying out this palette and I can't wait to see the results. Usually these are not colors I would go for in eyeshadows, but when I swatched the multi-reflective shadows, which are these ones right here, there are four of them, I just fell in love with the, with the shades, to be honest. First off, I'm going to apply the concealed shade all over my lids. This is supposed to act as a base. I've heard quite mixed reviews on this one. Most people are actually not that keen on this concealer, but I'm trying it out anyway. I will use the color play and apply it all over my lids, and that way I just have a matte base and it will be easier to blend out the other matte shades that I'm gonna use on top of that. I've noticed that there's a little bit of fall up on the pan when I did my brush into it, but I don't mind too much as long as it works well on my eyelids. Mm -hmm. 
The next color that I'm going to use is Secret, which is this one right here. And I'm going to apply this shade on the outer half of my lids. I'm going to go into the outer corners of my eyes and also the inner corners of my eyes. That way I'm creating a little bit more dimension for my eyes. I will also use the NYX 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 Glitter Primer. I'm going to apply some of the primer on the center of my lids and that way it will make sure that the eyeshadow will be as vibrant as possible and there's no fallout, hopefully. Now using my ring finger I'm going to dip into the shade. I don't know if the camera can even pick it up but it's so so beautiful. I am in love with this eyeshadow. This is so beautiful and this is not even a color that I would normally go for. I normally prefer using kind of brown shades, neutral kind of shades. I'm also going to use a little bit of For my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade again. I'm going to use that to do a soft line on my eyes. We're almost done. I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes, apply a little bit of mascara and and some false lashes as well. My current favorite mascara is the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara by Too Faced and this stuff really helps to add volume to my lashes which I desperately need because my lashes are really short and thin. I'm going to add some false lashes and I'll be using the Fleur Loves Lashes by Ilya. These are one of my favorite lashes. So I'm just going to do that off camera and then I'll be right back. I am back. I've done my eyelashes and I also applied some mascara on the bottom lashes as well. Now I'm just going to quickly finish up the eyeliner and I'll do a Korean style wing liner which is kind of not a flick at the end but it kind of goes down a little bit I guess. I'm finally done with my eyes, now I'm going to contour my face a little bit and I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit for that. I'm just going to dip in my brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my jawline and the outer parts of my face but I'm not going to contour the hollows of my cheeks. Then for my cheeks I will be using the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Blissful and I'll be using a stippling brush to apply the shade on the center of my cheeks. To finish 
Shapsa look, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bear It All. And what I'll do next is I'm going to mute the shade a little bit by using my regular foundation brush. I do have still a little bit of foundation left on this. I'm going to dab it on my lips. Since I don't have a lip stain, I'm going to use the liquid lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade Vampira or Vampira. I don't know whatever you want to call it. And put it into the inner parts of my lips. And I just carefully blend out the liquid lipstick just to give it this gradient effect. This is it. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you like this. I really enjoyed creating this tutorial and let me know what you want to see next. Make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!